19 years old with a shoot box stash. Yo, I'm no, in my, you know how you got a shoebox of shit in your house? Well, I keep that in the kitchen. This. See there, there's stuff going on. Like, yeah, you can see my shoes kind of. We're in okay. the skate shoes today. We can start it off that way. Oh, well, which way? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? Oh, uh, we got a Break vintage. Fit. Now that you can kind of see it in his knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do Ooh, it. Uh, we got a uh, we got corduroy pants from Zoomies. Uh, kind of baggier fit. We got the Force Nike SB Fifty Ultra. Um, purple and pr purple and orange colorway, just because you know we like to have fun here. The Spider Man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got the the bear mountain shirt. Oh, my board, dude. My board, your board just scuffed me. You what, know. Do you, what, what else? And then the shoebox Jeez. hat. Classic. Available at www.shoeboxpnw.com. Anyways, um, let's run through your fit. Vintage. The Rey Mysterio 619. Buica, buica. Buica, buica. What are you going to do, bro? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I got some uh, like the work like worker pants. I got these actually at what, what did I say? I think you said Aeropos or a hostel. No, 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 no. Hollister. <laughs> um, oh wait, no. Abercrombie and Fitch. There we it is. Slept on, slept on, and then we got the taxi ones, you know, and unreleased shoebox trucker hat. You heard it here first, guys. Unreleased. Looking like Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> But want to start us off intro? Yeah, yeah. As an intro. Let's bring it back to. Oh, I do a true. All right, welcome back to the Shoebox Podcast. I'm your boy Chewy. I'm your boy Oscar. I'm your boy. <laughs> and then we got Anthony <laughs> in the back. What's up, guys? Running the um, the computer, the camera, everything we got He's going on in the lighting, background. Lighting guy. He's the man. He's just in charge of. Making sure this thing does not fall apart. And adding conversations. That's important, yeah, yeah. dude. Like, we want to... The more input we have, the better it is, mm -hmm. you know? Like, the better the conversations are going to be. Um, also, as we said, setup is new. How do yeah. You guys, how do you guys like it? I know, how do you guys like it? I'm relaxed. Yeah, it feels comfortable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels kind of weird. I feel like taking a nap. Yeah, it feels like we're just chilling. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's cool, though. I like it. I like it. What about you? Yeah. No, it looks way better. I feel like I said it just feels more like ah. yeah, like we're actually having a conversation with you guys. And I feel like it looks more like legit, more yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like it just feels more like podcast setup. Finally, yeah, finally. yeah. We're just missing the neon sign, but yeah, we're gonna coming get that soon, soon, coming soon, coming soon. Don't sleep on that. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get into the event that oh, we yeah. had last week. How did you like it? Uh, well, here's a breakdown to anybody who's watching this. This is your first time True. watching us. First of all, hit the subscribe button. Second of all, we have pop-up events here local in our city. We're located, was it more like central Washington? It's called Tri-City area, uh, Tri-Cities. We got Kennewick, Pasco, and Richland. Mm -hmm. So there's not really too many events that go on. So we put together on our own events. We hosted it so we can give people in our area the opportunity to shop, uh, buy, like sell and trade uh, publicly for like anybody. So free of entry. And we had, you know, roughly about 20 vendors. I think it was probably a little bit less just because we had some people not show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it was a great outcome. Yeah, it so, was great. Uh, we marketed ourselves like the, up like that whole month. So it was great to see such a big turnout because, right, right. you know, we were kind of just doing it on our own. But like we had all the vendors also like, you know, tagging us, you know, helping out promoting it. So yeah, 100%. You know, yeah. I was like, we were like kind of like worried to see how it's going to turn out, but it was great. All the yeah. vendors had a great time. You know, we had a great time. Yeah, yeah. I want to say too, like, um, I'm, I think that the spot was like good enough where people were actually able to mm -hmm. see. There was enough like parking and stuff because that was another one of my worries was like, were people were going to be able to find us? Were people going to be messaging us like, yeah. yo, where's this event at? Because mm -hmm. that can be like a big one where it's like if people don't know where we're at, people won't show up. You know, because they're just like, oh, it's too out of my way to figure it out. But I think we should give a shout out to Three Margaritas. Yep. For giving us that opportunity of hosting mm -hmm. that. And they welcomed us and said that we can do it anytime we want again. So yeah. that's like, uh, you know, 
helps out. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And oh uh, yeah, OG hour, dude had all the OG kids. Hour, dude. dude, with all the kids skating around with the signs, like we really appreciate that too. Yeah, and like he cool. went out and like handed off flyers too. So like, you know, it was really dope that like you know some of the vendors were able to like you know throw in a little bit of their marketing too. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think a, I think a couple people got a little more exposure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but I think I think everybody did great. I think everybody brought out a good amount of shoes, and, mm-hmm. and I think some people were buying. Not everybody, but a majority of people were. Yeah. Um, and I gave opportunity, like I said, to bring more money into this business. So mm-hmm. we're all in. I'm hyped also too. Uh, Bless Kicks, one of the homies that was vending there. He's getting his own spot soon, so keep a oh, lookout yeah. for that shout too. Out Bless give, Kick. A sh- give him a shout out. Anybody out in Hermiston, hit up Bless Kick. He's the man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I want to see that. He's like one of those few people that you can just. It's very easy to work with. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like usually most of the time is, you know, sometimes people have pushback, but I think he's pretty casual, pretty pretty laid mm-hmm. back and easy to work with. You know, it's just, if it makes sense, people most of the time run the deal. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to say the love that people showed at the event for us. Like it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think we were underestimated it. We were super busy all day and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like we, I think we were just, I guess casual about it. Yeah. And then once it started, we're like nonstop. Like people mm-hmm. were coming and we're like, oh snap. Like, dude, it was sick. It was yeah. so cool. It's cool. And wasn't just like our booth, everyone had like a good amount of traffic coming through. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. everybody was like, dude, like, yeah, there's good traffic. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, what do you guys think though? Is this better than, was this better than Seattle Sneaker Con for you guys? Like, it was cool because it was our event and we got to like do yeah. it ourselves. Yeah. But, you know, Summer Sneak, uh, Summer Sneaker Con. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Seattle Sneaker Con was crazy because you got to see so much. Like, it was just busy and then we got to like just be, like, it felt like we were in like our own store, like, yeah, like constant yeah. traffic. So I wouldn't pretty like, I wouldn't compare the two. Right. Like, but I think, you know, I think uh, for me is like a uh, very, like, for me, I put them in like one of the better experiences just because yeah. it was like that same feeling, you know, like, like at sneaker con it was we sold out at this one it felt like we might not have sold out but we had a bunch of people like showing out yeah, and like yeah. doing the shopping it just felt cool and we still had a lot of friends like mm-hmm. and family like stop by and say hi to us and just show their support even though you know they weren't like shopping with us yeah, yeah. Uh, or did you stop by you know mm-hmm. and i'm like dude that meant a lot to us too the Dripper Flip came all the way from Oregon. Yeah, Good. he just stopped by too. Shout out, too. shout out Dripper Flip too, killing it out there too. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it just felt cool. I just I just really enjoyed it. And like I had one of my friends, uh Frankie, he came up to me and he was like, Oh, like it's cool that you guys are like uh doing something for like, you know, the sneaker community. And I feel like that meant a lot because I was like, dang, mm-hmm. and he's like, somebody has to do it. And it's like he's like, I think you guys are gonna be the ones to like put this put this together and he's like this like the turnout is good dude and i was like looking and i looking around and you're kind of like uh super unreal and you're Mm. like damn there's there i mean all this came together because we like came together as a community and like made it happen it's so cool that was cool but like it makes you kind of emotional yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah uh, it's just like when it comes from somebody else and they're really mm. being like you know like oh like this is sick and blah 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 just kind of like puts you in a different perspective yeah and i think sometimes if we can get so busy like doing other things or worrying about other things that Mm -hmm. we don't take a step back and like just look and be like whoa like this is what you know it's come to like this is like the fruit from you know whatever (laughs) from all the labor we've done yeah yeah. labor that we've Mm -hmm. done so it's like cool and a lot of free labor because we're doing this on (laughs) our spare time so (laughs) yeah it's awesome and also like kind of just we've been doing this only for like a year now so it's like or like this is like our it's second like a year and a half year now, and a half dude. now so it's like we've been able to get a good turnout two guys you know good I'm growth excited. so it, it's sick and like this definitely showed us that we can have potentially do other events so yeah you know we don't have anything planned yet but you know stay tuned yeah 100 percent. Yeah. stay tuned guys okay also we wanted to bring up that the july 8th we're gonna be at the night market so it's gonna be pretty sick you know mm-hmm. come out again you know we're gonna have are we gonna be buying again or what do you think doug i think we we can lightly buy yeah uh, it's just gonna be a little more select i think we'll probably start heavy buying up until once you come back from portland probably just because mm-hmm. we have more liquid to spend yeah, yeah you know it's just harder when it's like you know like if we have credit line or like you know on our debit card and stuff like that it's just we have to bring cash mm-hmm. and so it's just kind of hard to like carry and maneuver all that especially when a lot of the money is in our inventory so i think once we come back from portland we'll have more liquid and more mm-hmm. cash to be able to spend like with people also, we're going to be at Rose City in Portland, the 29th. Yeah, yeah. It's so that's another be, event that we got yeah, coming yeah. up. So Rose City, I'm excited for that one, you guys. I don't know how about you guys, but I've seen that it's been a good turnout. So yeah. shout out to people at Rose City uh, for putting that one event. Uh, I think last year we've seen it and we didn't go mm-hmm. just because we weren't doing like the traveling. But this year we've been doing a lot more traveling. So. Yeah. 
for sure it's gonna be the next level and then after that what do we have we got another night market another night market and then we're trying to figure out yeah and then we're trying to figure out some other events yeah and then seattle actually we have another one potentially we're still waiting on the application Mm -hmm. uh i think that one i want to say i think it's the end of uh august august yeah Yeah. towards the end so those that's what's lined up and then i'll probably give us a little more time to like work on something that for us like yeah, something yeah. one of our events so yeah so yeah stay tuned guys because it's yeah. gonna be crazy especially next year we have a lot of plans for next year too so. sure for sure yeah, sure. So. Oh, want to get into talking about the sneaker fashion world supreme you've heard about this right yes they're taking a, a little loss nothing too crazy for a big company like that but they're down <laughs> 38 million on the last quarter yeah i mean we we've we've talked about supreme i mean i still like supreme i don't know about you guys you guys you guys still wear supreme like that or or buy I got some supreme so yeah like i i, I, th- I don't think it's that because look i feel like it's just a specific category of people mm-hmm. how much did they lose or how 30, much did they, they're like, down 38 million they're down 38 million from last year which makes total sense for one you can look at the market in general look at the sneaker mm-hmm. market look at anything look at like you can just look in stocks everything's down right too like certain brands certain trends are on the decline yeah like not everybody likes to wear supreme like i don't like it's it's, it's natural you know like trends mm-hmm. change and also i feel like sneakers also are doing the same thing like we were just talking about like what uh panda, dunk. panda dunks yeah another shoe just i think not even just panda dunks but just dunks in general yeah a lot of them are struggling to hit over retail mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> for like yeah. the second like our market and stuff like that for That's resale market it's just not there for for people you know yeah it's just uh i think it's oversaturated and like you know just the market crashed you yeah know, times so are changing you know trends so changing jordan trends ones changing. like i said too jordan ones people jordan aren't wearing ones. jordan ones as much you know mm-hmm. i still like them because it's a like staple yeah you know i grew up wearing the jordan ones so mm-hmm. it's like i'm gonna keep buying jordan ones yeah it's like <laughs> it's it makes again it's like we've always talked about how it makes it better for the consumer so in the, yeah in the, in the, in the i day. think i think the casual consumer is the ones that are letting go you know mm-hmm. and you're ha- having more of like just the collectors and people who have been drawn to that sneaker and yeah stuff like that so it's kind of like you know we talk about like also like the cortez you know it doesn't mean a lot to some people but for us it's like oh that's a sick shoe yeah yeah, yeah. it's, it's just, like a particular set of people it's like mm-hmm. jordan ones people who grew up in jordan ones like they're gonna keep buying jordan ones like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna change for us you know <laughs> mm-hmm. but it's just the volume of people who are just following the trends who are just like casually buying sneakers because those mm-hmm. are cool or cute or whatever that they saw yeah so <laughs> hot take though do you think adidas is gonna have a like resurgence um i think they have potential yeah i just just think they really have to put in their resources into finding Mm -hmm. like the proper channels of like people who can like market it yeah move move the move the culture towards adidas again yeah yeah that's all it takes dude we just got to put their money into the right people like Mm -hmm. yeah because like you see the dub zeros you see the samba blow like everybody like on tiktok was like sambas with like the new shoe of the summer yeah samba's like i'm saying dude imagine doing like a samba with like dude who i mean like i feel like you have to put somebody who would like kill it yeah like i would like if i was in their place like just thinking off the bat be like tyler the creator yeah that'd be sick a tyler the creator samba like bro that'd you know that sick. thing would sell out dude yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be tough so yeah because i'm seeing a lot of like i feel like nike has kind of dominated the last like three to four years yeah and, like, i think you know people do get fed up and or like not fed up but like you know they're like oh, i want something different you know so mm-hmm kind of it is kind of cool seeing because like, we've been talking so much about like how adidas like, we feel like they've kind of dropped the ball the last couple of years so yeah you know it's kind of cool to see them maybe get a little resurgence back maybe it's just yeah. i mean they did the, the the one we were talking about that new collab that they got oh yeah so yeah they're going to be dropping a dub zero collection with corn with like clothing as well yeah with the band corn so it's gonna be kind of cool too so yeah i think that'll do well because i think if it's a particular niche of people who mm-hmm. like you know appreciate one the sneaker yeah and then two are huge fans of the band so it's like and mm-hmm. i think it's gonna sell out i think it's a little late and i don't think it would have been i think it would have been bigger if they would have done it you know a few years back yeah but i think you know people are still gonna buy it <laughs> Dude, yeah they look cool though like uh, again it's like you can make a collab but if the collection isn't good then nobody's gonna buy it so but i've seen some of the clothing and i've seen the shoes and stuff and i, I think it looked pretty dope that's a good point that's a good yeah. point too because like i mean not he, to knock but like a good example that i always think about is like sean witherspoon's like when, yeah. you know, when he did the whole nike air max banger and then he went to adidas and slowly just kind of felt like 
it was the same thing just recycled and like mm-hmm. i don't know it's super like i don't know i just it just you need the right design you know because you yeah. have the name it's like you have mm-hmm. sean witherspoons who just did like this crazy air max and went to adidas yeah and, you know it just doesn't have the same response <laughs> i think you know i don't I, I know he's trying to chase like that air max kind of colorway or i don't know like his inspiration it's for like, like shoes, recycled yeah like kind of flowers like tie-dye Artistic. 70s like kind of like a bunch of the different colorways like a bunch of different colors that i think look cool but like he keeps like picking models that i'm like they're not really like relevant so it's like i feel like yeah well, that's one thing and then the second thing i feel like some of them are a little bit more like out of out of comfort in a way yeah you know what i mean like it's just not something that a normal person would wear just that or it's <laughs> a lot of the designs too is like these aren't dailies you can't wear these every right, day right yeah that's mm-hmm. what i mean like you don't see somebody just buying that shoe to just casually wear yeah so. it's like a very specific like i gotta wear this with an outfit mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. i feel like if he kind of could dial it back a little bit he might have some more success with his like releases with adidas yeah, yeah. that's why I, I agree with you sean you know sean if you're watching this. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah also in the news i don't know we haven't really locked down a date for the well i don't think nike's locked down a date for the travis scott golf shoes have you seen those do you think those are gonna uh, be good or do you I, think they're gonna resell i don't know i don't i don't see i mean there's a market i think for golfing for sure because they keep releasing like these jordan golf stuff yeah but i don't i don't I don't know if they'll have like crazy resale as people expect it to be. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What do you What do you guys think? Like, I, I don't think I don't think it. I don't think they will. I would just buy them just to like. I I know like the other Jordan One lows are like very expensive, so <laughs> you could try to pull it off. But I don't know. Just to rock them, like yeah. buy them just to wear them. I can see people doing that too, because I've seen a lot of people like buy like the Shadow golf shoes and like the Chicago One golf shoes, because it's like a Jordan One low G, and like they just rock it like a regular shoe. And it makes it a little taller, but you know. I don't know. I would. I, I just feel like the little like bumps make it so much harder. Sandpaper. To wear. Sandpaper. <laughs> just sand them. Get a grinder. Dude. <laughs> uh, that'd be so much work. So, I mean, you could soul swap them. Like you could just do that too. Jordan one low and just. That actually wouldn't be. I think. I don't know. I think that would be like less time consuming than like sanding off, <laughs> or just wear them every day in the know. concrete. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but it's just kind of. It's not. I feel like it's risky when. If you're not a like you don't know how to customize or like soul swap and you buy a shoe it's like yeah you could potentially just mess up the shoes and waste yeah. your time in a way <laughs> no yeah and then if you don't know anybody locally so it's like you want to send it out and then like you know get take a couple months or to, or yeah or you have to wait forever yeah it's and the price yeah oh you're probably paying like what i think most times it's like a hundred to two hundred dollars over whatever yeah plus so. materials i'm guessing or? it's like dude you're better off just buying like the the phantoms yeah the phantoms are like 500 bucks like <laughs> yeah it's crazy how much those have dropped yeah but i can still people see like customizing these like soul swapping them though yeah because it, it is an all right colorway yeah, yeah it's all it's, right but it's different i think it's like cool that they're getting like like not the classic brown and you know mm-hmm. doing a little thing something a little different so i kind of like them you know again i don't golf so one thing that we're, we're wanting to talk about was the uh passing of um, oh right 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 sorry of, uh, Sp- uh spantos 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 from born and raised yeah um you know we were expecting issue release actually mm-hmm. this month and nike has removed it from the store and i think they are pushing it back to an unknown release date yeah um uh, so fortunately with his passing it kind of caused some issues looks like so yeah i wonder if what's gonna, yeah i wonder what's gonna happen with that if they're gonna like maybe try to do fun, fundraising with the shoe or you know oh. give some money to the family that you know after he passed away so maybe that's kind of what they're kind of going for I don't know. I don't think that's. I think it's more for like legal reasons and stuff like that. Because I know. Think so? he, I think yeah. I know. Uh, Spanto is like he was partial owner with. I forget the other guy's name. Born and raised. Yeah. yeah, for, yeah. for born and raised. So mm-hmm. I, mean, I think it's more of like the legal reasons and stuff like that. You know, if he had like an estate or who is gonna oh, be like the one got that's you. gonna be like taking charge mm-hmm. of the business, or if it's just him. So I think it's more legal reasons. That's what I think. Yeah. Why they would do that to make sure that everybody everything in the contract looks better because basically it just messes up the whole contract when it's like one of the owners of like a company you're collabing with just passes away <laughs> yeah yeah so uh are you saying more like who's gonna get paid for what right right yeah, who's getting you. paid for mm-hmm. what what's going on is this a shoe that we're still even moving forward with or yeah. like you know whoever's shooting like you know making those calls like mm-hmm. if they're gonna just 
not release them. They potentially don't want them to release for whatever reason. Yeah. So I think that's why, but I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Again, it's like, you know, it's a very unfortunate thing. Rest in peace again to Spantos. And, um, you know, uh, again, like, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's it's not a big deal that they got postponed you know shoot it's just you know it's pa- he passed away so it's like yeah that's we're not gonna be here important. mad at mad at like him or anything you know like, yeah you know. yeah it's just a lot of people are, are like speculating that you know um the shoe itself if it when it releases it'll probably be even harder to get like yeah <laughs> cause i was be like, like that was an idea like in my head too like are people gonna try to buy these more because like you know since he's passed away like, i think a, for sure i think people yeah. are gonna you know with some fortunate people like want to like catch a, like catch that mo- momentum so then that way they can get the shoes and it has probably more resale value yeah because you saw what happened with the same thing with the off-white and stuff we had like the jordan the ones virtuals, yeah yeah a lot of like the jordan ones and dunks and all that stuff for a moment were like skyrocketing mm-hmm. um but like always after the momentum and all that you know like it just kind of goes back to normal except mm-hmm. for the jordan ones jordan ones are like crazy or expensive like the, so just the chicago yeah. yeah the yeah. unc ones too yeah it's just insane how much those go for but yeah. <laughs> it's such a limited shoe but yeah i think yeah i was thinking about that too of just people wanting to buy them just because they're like you know it's like a now it's like more of a like a collect it's going to be more of a collector's item now you know yeah i think it just kind of adds more to that rarity because it's like you don't know like is nike going to do another collab with them or, yeah. or not i think that's also another thing where you start thinking about stuff like that like mm-hmm. well this means that it's not gonna release again <laughs> yeah so or the first collab before mm-hmm. he passed away just yeah like an original collab you know? you know people are gonna like use that like i hopefully have people that buy them just like wear them <laughs> well a lot of people like they did that giveaway uh well not a giveaway but you saw how we give away like a couple bunch of pairs to like the students who graduated from their high school oh, that's sick um it was i remember what high school but it was a high school that he attended so mm-hmm. he was able to give that graduating class of 2023 like a pair of those but there was people who were also reselling them right after that's that. crazy so some students and i think it was kais actually had a pair that like he, he bought, bought off a kid yeah because it Dude. had like the because that well he didn't particularly know no but i think when he bought him whatever he bought him off of i think it might have been like goat or something like that mm-hmm. it had like the letter or whatever from like congratulations class of 2023 or whatever that's crazy so if people are reselling the shoes regardless you know yeah. it's just like that fine line of like whether it's a gift or not or you know somebody passed away i think mm. people are still gonna resell them like tell us why you sold them <laughs> <laughs> no, for real that's crazy yeah so drop in a comment if you guys got the pair of sp born and raised would you sell them or keep them yeah so i would keep them yeah i would keep them too yeah, they're sick <laughs> it's like dude. free pair of shoes here. yeah but again insane anything else before we hop into this awesome new segment anything else do you guys want to chime in on any new topics uh topics wise um i don't really think we have anything else like the pharrell louis v kind of runway show was pretty crazy i wanted to talk about that but i was like yeah like it's just Uh, like high fashion kind of stuff yeah i mean cool designs how about this drop in a comment if you guys are into like the high fashion stuff is that the topic Mm -hmm. that you know you guys are interested in and you know just comment let us know if you want to talk well, oh, we can we talk want us more to talk stuff, about it yeah more more, more criterias mm-hmm. and stuff like that i think it's important too yeah. like we want to you know cover as much as we can in the sneaker group but anything mm-hmm. that kind of also impacts that because it's also important about the influence on it too yeah. um, oh but, and um one thing and it's more on the skateboarding side but i shot where is getting a na- another nike sp pro model oh i've seen it actually and it's pretty sick because i had the first shoe and i really didn't like it because the toe was so flimsy and i just I really like the feel, but I saw him skating his new shoe, and dude, it looks pretty it sick. Looks nice, and it has an air bubble in it. Yeah, dude. so I saw the air bag. bubble, and I was like, "That's kind of hard, dude." dude like, yeah. it kind of uh, gave me like those P Rod vibes, you know how he did his air mm-hmm. bubble. Yeah, which yep, yep. they just talked about. Did you know that the only reason that they added the air bubble into his shoe was because uh, I think it was the Jordan Three Air model before, or uh, the grade school model that yeah, he had yeah. mm-hmm. uh, when he was a kid. When he wanted to go buy a pair uh, for of kid size that they didn't come with the air bubble or was it an air max uh, i think uh, it was an air max probably yeah so him kind of like being like not being able to buy that as a kid mm-hmm. because they weren't available made him want to get that air bubble back into Sick. his shoe and he implemented that on his first skate shoe with Nike. Yeah. i think so. he had it up into the third shoe and then the fourth shoe is when like the whole like the whole style of shoes of p-rods changed but right i think for his first three shoes he had the airbag right right yeah. so it's cool i like these you know what i Dude. mean and I'm stoked because again, like I wanted to see, like 
I wasn't really the biggest fan of the Nijas, the new ones that just came out. Yeah, I didn't like those. And like their pro models have been kind of hit or miss, but this looks like a W. Yeah. Like, it kind of yeah. gives me like a. I just hope they're not like like a little more or like you know more expensive than like the I'm regular. Hope, I'm hoping <laughs> they keep it at like that ninety to hundred dollar yeah. range. I think that's like most reasonable price you could probably charge for like yeah. a skate shoe. And they kind of give me like Jordan Eleven, kind of like the split panels. It looks pretty sick. I don't know. I don't know. I like them. I like yeah, them. Yeah, I like them a lot. So I just wanted to bring that up real quick. Yeah, yeah. Is, You know, more skate. I love all the skate news. So yeah, and you know, like you've been doing more skate clips, getting skinny yeah. more. And then I've been trying to get on the board. So Dude. like, yeah, you, you see the board. I got a setup now and everything like that. So I've been trying to you know get out there with Jesus and killing it, dude. Like, Dude, it's gonna be crazy. I'm trying so, to get a video part done. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Um, short that you put from back in the day oh yeah that was crazy old clips pop up some old clips dude i know that was dude i did that like like i was probably 20 i was like or 19 i was like that was like almost 10 years ago yeah 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 dude. Anyway. but i feel like i'm skating better now than i did when i was that when i was younger i just feel sore but yeah dude yeah i was gonna say my fucking knees or like just my calves i'm like oh, uh, yeah. i'm like it's it's not like a work it's not like it's a the same thing as a workout because it's just like you're mm -hmm. constantly on it and it's not like you know you can't just give out you can't just be like oh you know i'm just gonna like not skate because it's like it's like conditioning your body yeah, to like take that non-stop much. like yeah it's not the same thing as like you can take a break when you're working out yeah and that's what right. i've been trying to get Where back like into resets and yeah. you stop taking a break mm -hmm. it's like no you can't do that you just gotta yeah. keep going <laughs> yeah that's what i've been working on just getting that like endurance and like to be able to like be on it longer so i can like do more tricks so well we're about to sign it off but not before introducing one of our new segments we have multiple segments uh but this <laughs> this is just one of them yeah one of many that we want to introduce uh and this one is which one came out first and we have anthony who's behind the camera uh he will be the one naming the sneakers while me and jesus try to battle it out in a full battle royale to battle see royale. who can guess which sneaker came out first, first. so whenever you're ready anthony all right all right so what came out first jordan one retro unc or the Jordan 1 Retro Game Royal. Game Royal. I'm going to say Game Royal, too. I it got it first. first. I said it first. Yeah. And then you guys are both wrong. Dang. What? You suck, dude. <laughs> you the one that said it first. I was a setup. I was setting yeah. you up. I knew. It's just I was setting you up. Yeah, I knew you would have been like. Oh, uh, so he gets it. the point then? Kind of. Yeah, he set me up. All right. Next. Next. <laughs> the Jordan 3 White Cement. Or the Jordan 3 Black Cement. Black Cements. Uh, I think it's the Black Cement, too. Uh, I don't it? know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it just fit. Like, you gotta it, 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 it says 1988. They both came the same year. I don't know. So like, It didn't show me that. Did they both, I think the Black Cement came first before the White Cement. I think so, too. Because I know? remember I've seen pictures of Michael wearing them. Yeah. We'll type it in if we were right or wrong. But we'll do more further research. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Next shoe. We're having Wi-Fi issues over here. <laughs> the Jordan 11 Concord. Or the Jordan 11 Space Jam. Concord. I feel like this is a trick question. Space Jam, you going? I'm going Space Jam. It's a Concord. Oh, let's run it, dude. Come on. I yeah. thought it was the Concord too. Space Jam. It's not, movie it's not like a big year difference, though. It's like only five years. That's a, <laughs> that's a long time. Yeah, that's a pretty big one. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it was a trick question. I was like, I Next. swear the Concord came out first, but that's whatever. All, all right. Yeah, yeah. That was it. That was yeah. it. She. So who took the dub? Oscar. One out of what? Four. <laughs> <laughs> one out of four. Dude, we killed it, bro. We killed it. But okay, so. Awesome. What came out first? You got one first? You two. Okay. Okay, so we got the Nike SB Dunk Stussy or the Nike SB Pigeons by the Staple. Pigeons. I'm pretty sure the Pigeons. Pigeons. Okay, we're going to verify that right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to throw one out there. Real fast the, for you the guys. The supreme ones or which one? The Stussy, the cherries? Is that what you're talking? About? Yeah, the cherries. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, the, pretty sure it's the, pigeons. the pigeons. Stussy, it came out in 2005. Okay, 
two, oh, 2005, we get the Stussy Cherries card. I want those. You know which ones I really want? Hmm. The Cinco de Mayo ones, dude. I keep looking at them. Bro. Okay, so yeah, the Staples came out four months before the Cherries. Let's go. That's crazy. Another little sneak one in there. Sneak one more in there just yep. to make things exciting. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Awesome. Dude, I'm hyped. That's it, guys. Dude. You know, hopefully you guys took some good stuff, got entertained by us, yep. and uh, had a good time at the events. Dude, I like, know. I, I mean, if you guys went out, and again, if it's somebody new, dude, welcome. Thanks for watching. We gotta. We have to come up with the name for people who watch the show. You know how like ha people have like Jake Paulers. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Shoe boxers. Shoe boxers. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, uh, we'll figure something cooler than we'll that. Be the box <laughs> Can we be the box boys? Box boys. Box boys. The box crew. Okay, box boys. Box boys. Box boys. It is. <laughs> <laughs> what about girls? <laughs> what about <laughs> girls? <laughs> they can be the boys too, bro. Dude, the whole but, boys crew. Yeah, Got you. Yeah. But comment below. Whoa, whoa, what's a cool? What's a cool name? What's a cool, what's name, a cool for? name for the people that watch the Shoebox just, podcast? I feel like just uh, just this thing that we yeah. got going on. You mm -hmm. know, but we're piecing out. Peace. Hopefully, we'll see you guys at the next events. You know, comment down below, say what's up, and then take care. Go get some wing stuff, baby.